forces are upon us. First of all, I think uh, movies are based on game are a little bit like inflated. Yeah. So, in your in your opinion, like, what are the reasons for that, and how did you uh, try to avoid all the obstacles while while mm. making Warcraft? Um, and I think one of the things that it's interesting is that you know comic book movies these days are really very good, and I think it happened because in the past. People who made comic book movies didn't read comic books, and they weren't so good. Mm -hmm. And then a generation of filmmakers who grew up reading comic mm -hmm. books started making films, and they made you know great comic book movies. I think the same is true for video games. I think in the past they've been made by people who maybe didn't play the games and didn't understand or appreciate why people enjoyed them. Yeah. But now there you know there's a generation like my my own where we grew up playing the games, and I grew up playing Warcraft. Mm -hmm. And I think as a filmmaker. I, I don't try and recreate the experience of playing the mm -hmm. game, but I try and recreate the, the feeling of being in that world. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, for the general audience, Warcraft might be like a common fantasy movie, but you know, like for some, Warcraft means something like some holy thing to them. They grow up with them, yeah. like the gamers or the fans. Yeah. So, uh, how did you try to neutralize the movie and uh, uh, point to the, both of the part of the audience? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think whether you, you know, play the game or you don't play the game, everyone can enjoy a good story. Whether, mm -hmm. you know, and if they like fantasy, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that will be enough for them to feel like it's a movie for them. Um, I remember when the first Lord of the Rings film came out um, and people were saying, yeah, but not everybody reads Tolkien. I don't know if there's an audience for this movie. But it's not about reading Tolkien. That's not why you want to see The Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. It's because you want to go into this fantasy world and be told an amazing story. And I think we did the same with Warcraft. Okay. So comparing with your two previous movies, which I really love, Moon yes. and Soko, they are very small projects. But yeah. this one is like a huge one, yeah. $160 million. But do you think, like, is there any common thing in, both, uh, in the three movies that you, you have made so far? I hope so. Um, you know, what I try to do with my characters in particular is bring elements of my own life and try to create believable characters by bringing in, you know, something that feels real. Um, so whether that was, you know, Moon or Source Code or even Warcraft, um, there's a lot of sort of couples and relationships and uh, interactions between characters in Warcraft which are very much based on, on real life and true experiences. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is like the beginning. So do you have like any plans for the second movie or even <laughs> after that? I think we certainly hope that that's the case. If this film is successful, um, we would love to, to make a trilogy and tell, three, you know, tell a story over three movies. Obviously, with the, with the way that the movie industry is these days, almost every weekend there is a giant franchise already there, whether it's Marvel or DC or Star Wars or Pixar or anything. Um, so if you're going to try and introduce a new story and tell multiple stories from it, you have to be sure that it works before you continue. So we've made the first one, hopefully people like it and we'll get to make more. So have you read about the early reaction from the critics and how do you think about that? I prefer the early reaction from the fans who've gone to see the movie. Um, fortunately, the, cut, the uh, film has opened in, I think, nearly 30 countries now, and uh, you know, it's been number one in almost all of them. Um, and I obviously are very active on, on Twitter mm -hmm. and get to hear reaction from the fans, and uh, both from people who know Warcraft and who don't know Warcraft, they seem to love the movie. So to me, that's the most important uh, uh, cri critics I could hear from. Okay, great. Uh, so I think the next, uh, your next project is not Warcraft 2, right? So can you share a little bit about your next project? Yeah, I mean, obviously working on a big movie like this, it, it's, a, it's ex an exhausting experience. I worked on this for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, so my next film is going to be much quicker to do uh -huh. and is a much slower budget. And it's a small science fiction film I've been trying to make for a very long time. Uh, so I'll be doing that with uh, the actors Paul Rudd and Alexander Skarsgård mm. and shooting in Berlin in Germany and the film is called Mute. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.